Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Tempo League. My name is Barrett. Today we're going to talk about the double and triple paradiddle and how to use them in a groove. All right, so the first thing we want to do is look at the double paradiddle. And that is right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, we're only going to accent the first right and the first left, the first single. Okay, so that on the hi-hat would sound like this. Okay, you could also accent the first two rights and the first two lefts, like this. Okay, um, you could also swing it. You hear the difference there between and If it's hard to hear the difference, let's play a groove when you'll hear it, okay? So, you, you know the, there's lots of different shuffles, okay? But let's just play this and you'll hear the shuffle feel. Okay, you know Grapevine Fire's the... Right, that shuffle feel, or Rosanna shuffle, or the Purdy shuffle, anything like that. The double paradiddle lends itself very well to that shuffle feel. It's triplet, that triplet-based feel, right? So, right. So uh, there again, we're just playing right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. But it's very important what you accent, what is not accented. Right? We say a tap. There's either accents or taps. Accents are loud, taps are quiet. So just pay attention to just the hands here and see if you can hear it. So really the only things that are the only things that are accented are the first right and the first left. Right, um, and it's not the first left. I get it. The first left would be right after the first right, but the first leading when we switch. All right, you know what I mean. Okay, so that's the double paradiddle and the groove that goes along with it. Now let's look at the triple paradiddle. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Again, only accenting the first right and first left. So. Sorry about that, that was really sloppy. But um, here's what we're gonna do to play this groove, okay? Instead of accenting, so we're gonna accent the first right, but then on the left, we're gonna accent the right hand. So listen to this. Okay, do you hear that kind of vibe there? So if you moved it onto the kit, and when you first do the left, you, you move it to the snare, it would be like this. We'll use the bell or the, the crash too. Da, 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 da. Right? So just where you place those accents can change the feel. That's an interesting use of the triple paradiddle right there. Um, now, back to the good old basic straightforward paradiddle. Uh, we have other videos on this, but just to kind of bring it home, you can also use a groove on with that right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. The kind of the classic straightforward groove everyone does with that is this. Now, the more dynamic range you can get into that groove, the more interesting it'll sound, right? So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right is loud, left is loud, everything else is nice and soft.
Okay. Sorry, getting carried away. All right, let's go back through these grooves real quick. I would recommend you work out the hands on a drum pad, on the hi-hat, wherever you want. Make sure that you know the pattern really well, and then you can start orchestrating it around the kit. So once again with the double paradiddle, we could play. Don't worry about going too fast. You'll build that speed up. But that's an example. Actually, in fact, you should probably try to play it really slow. Because if you can't play it really, really slow and make it sound groovy and make it sound good, you're not going to be able to play it fast. So start this slow. Then move it up. Then move it up. Right? All right. Triple paradiddle. Let's do it really slow. A little faster. Faster. As always, if you're having any trouble playing these things, it's probably because you have not worked out your hands. Don't expect yourself to be able to sit down and play these things nice and loose and free if you have not put in the time to working out your hands. And that's why I have a full free playlist here on YouTube. Check it out. And then if you wanna go deeper, go over to tempoleague.com. And uh, man, do the better hands course. I'm telling you, it'll change your drumming. Thanks for checking out Tempo League. My name's Barrett. I hope you have a great week. See you next time.